Well, here again, is, we've heard them to what's asked. Is anyone here in opposition to this request to satisfy the members of the council? Yes, sir. This is the administrative part. Not this isn't for the driveway part. This. This is just on the lot size. What, what you got, Dick? I don't know exactly where I fit in. <laughs> Come to the lectern and let's talk. Uh, Richard Shelton, 508 Nobula Road, uh, Georgia. We, um, I represent the Shelton Land Company. Of that owns the property to the south and the east and the north of the social property. We're particularly concerned about the east and the south. So we, uh, that is my family, acquired this property in 1955 from John Howell. We have um, one issue, and that is the each parking lot. We, um, of course, we, didn't, we didn't, weren't able to get out there until yesterday. Based on our observations of where uh, Miss Herring has placed these, this line, it is, it is on our side of it. It takes property months. This picture is the best we can take. These are our rows of pine trees that run north and south. You can see on this pine tree is Miss Herring is a photo of the tree. And uh, we look over toward the Howell property here. Essentially, Ms. Herring has placed a pin that takes about three rows of our pine trees and the service road. So our, our, uh, my cousin, let me submit this. My cousin, who is a registered partner, has drawn where we think the line is on the pencil. And as you can see, it is, it is west of the line put there by Ms. Herring. There's my picture. We, we think that we think there's the same issue on the little short line north of the um, railroad. We haven't had an opportunity to get up there and look at that. I'm hoping Ms. Carrick can be here today. I'll talk okay, about who, who who drew the original plat with these lines? Has it been the surveyed? Survey has, yes, sir. Ms. Harris. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I may show you on the survey, uh, he was showing me that access road that he's talking about is a cut by a fire break because they cut ever so often and I don't think he follows the exact same line every time. Uh, I know for a fact I watched him last night and he came over about a foot. Uh, he was telling me that not only is this John Roberts property, but there's also that line there that is just in the ozone lane. Nobody owns it. But his property starts another seven foot past where he has this mark. And he was pulling it off the survey. He is a surveyor. Who is the assessor? He's a surveyor. Uh, Southern, uh, Southern survey. Southern survey. Bob Yeah. I think it's she, he is a surveyor. She is the office. I don't know who you actually say is doing it. it. It's her company. Her and her husband's company. Yeah. Well, at, at this point, if there is a disputed property line, that is not something that this board is, is not within our power to, to make any kind of ruling. That's going to have to be handled through the courts or through negotiations or whatever with surveys and, and, and all that. This, this is not something that's before us. And correct me if I'm off base, but regardless of where the line is, that still does not affect the first case we're dealing with, which is the appeal. And if anything, it might have an impact on the second case, depending on where the road is and depending on how this is determined, the once it's determined from the surveyors and whatever they have to do to, to rectify that problem. And it may mean that if, in fact, the access road that we may grant, if it's on the sheltered land, then the, the houses are going to have to move. It's not. It's not. It's not. He's going okay. the access road to fire okay. the, the access road is further down into the property. Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Young yeah, Jesus. Right. Well, I thought he was saying that actually right. really might have been the yeah, same, one in the same. same. Yeah. It's our perimeter road and our service road. Right. That we try to maintain between us and our neighbors. Well, I got a question, Dave. Do you have a, uh, you got to hire somebody to do a survey of your property one? No, 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 this just came up. We, yeah. um, the, our seller, John Howell, had a survey when we bought it in uh, 1955. And where my cousin drawn the lines, there was pins in every line, which we've always thought were lines. And now, what we see, based on what's going out there yesterday, their surveyor has marked off the line to the east, in essence, taking land from us. Sure. And so that's how much difference? About 50 feet. You're uh, a four, four, a quarter of a mile. Have you spoken to Uh Not about this, but I didn't know about it until yesterday. I called and talked to him last week about the whole, the whole situation. But not about this, but we had not had a chance to get out there and look at it. Well, I don't think we're talking about the property lines today, though. No. 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 Well, no. I mean, it's really kind of, I'll, I'll leave that to y'all. I mean, I, I think. Out of our well, it's, that's, that's what I'm saying. If it's right now, the, this potential problem is not something that's going to affect this board. We can't alleviate it. We can't do anything for it. It's going to have to be handled between you and the family and the surveyors and whatever y'all have to work out if the line's been moved and all that. Uh, there was a team back there, but when we come through that fire plant, we couldn't find it, so it's not work for us. Well, and that, that's what I'm saying here. This is something that the survey is going to come back in here, and they're going to have to resolve that if, if it, in fact, you are using 40, 50 feet of their land, then it's going to have to be worked out legally that you can either continue to use it or that you discontinue to use it, as the case may be. Or she may be right. Basically, until you get another survey to go out there and, and uh, check out those monuments, those pins, and rerun it. Well, that, that, that would be one option. Of course, our, our monument and our pin in our land is one of what parties have been possessing to. That's consistent with everybody's conduct and behavior for the last 50 years. 50 years. So, I mean, there, there's, that will have some play on where the line is. But where the line is, it can be. I don't think it's going to affect the ultimate result a whole lot. Well, you definitely don't want this plaque recorded if it's got the wrong meets and bounds. Well, I mean, if, if y'all approve it today. That, that's not well, what we're doing. We're not approving the plaque. plaque. No, we don't have any approval powers on the plaque or anything. All we're doing is, number one, the administrative appeal has been interpreted concerning the lots. And then the second case, which we haven't even started talking about, is to allow them a lesser type road than is normally required for access across the river and into the property. In either case, neither one of them is going to affect your situation, your legal rights. You're not giving up anything. We're not infringing any way on you that I can see. Well, if you if you vote favorably on both those issues, then this this lot can be subdivided and they submit it. Is that right? Only if it meets the legal survey pins and everything. If there's a question with the survey of pins, then again, that's something that you and the Howells and whoever's going to have to take it up with the surveyor. And, you know, did you in fact find the pins and or did you place the pins or is it drawn incorrectly? But in any case, that's not something that is going to affect us. And if we grant them the variance for the road and the family division of the property, they still have to legally subdivide the property to meet the state of Georgia and Lowndes County. And if the survey and the drawings is not accurate, then somebody's got a case against the surveyor or, or whatever. But because we granted it here does not mean they have now obtained your property or vice versa. <coughs> if their property line is right, yours is wrong as it's drawn, they, do, they don't get your land. Hey. Let me address where we're coming from on the whole. We we have observed the increased residential use of this property over the last 10, 15 years. Whenever, whenever there is an increase in residential use next to us, it raises issues of agriculture.
agricultural and residential being necessary. And what we've experienced here is uh, we, we lease our property for hunting. We traditionally lease this 208 acres for hunting. And uh, over the years, this particular parcel has gotten increasingly unworkable because of, we've had some issues with foilers uh, coming across, from, particularly from Track five. Um, we've, had, we've had our hunters uh, call the game warden to come out there to get on the floor with us and try to do something about it. And eventually, it's led to where the difficulty with us being able to mark our property and, and get the return that we feel like we need to get. Of course, this gets back to the financial gain on one hand and the time because we believe very strongly in the time. Uh, we, we also need to make some reasonable return off our property. You know, and if, if this goes through, whether that's an issue today or later on, then each one of these parts will have the life of family time. So where now I think the entire 60 acres can allow a five family members what has led to the density we have now. Once this goes through, it just stays divided to each one of them. Now, that's, that's what we were saying. The, the, the estate can only be done, mm -hmm. the estate ties stuff can only be done one time. And this will, this will be the time. Is that, but right, is that one week. time per parcel? Per the parent. subdivision type plat with proper access over the railroad which based on what I've seen with railroads and crossings and all it can be a real real bad they're, they're, they're about to box themselves in in my opinion by doing this once they exercise their family ties this time and if we grant them that lesser road on the next one. They really don't have a lot to work with, a lot of legs to stand on, if one or more of them wanted to cut it up into even smaller pieces. I mean, that's going to get really, really hard to do. But my understanding is that just this, that would be 25 families that can live here. Off the situation. And that's a large group. I would say a couple of strikes, but it'd be hard to get well and set the chains and distances yeah, and all that. There, there's other restrictions that's going to limit how many you can put. Just because it says you can put up to five does not mean you have developable, usable five. They, that, you know, it gets into that point, and here we are, we're way off subject, but you get into, we're going to share this well, we're going to share this septic tank. The health department's very tight on that kind of stuff. But anyway, we're, we're, we're starting to get way off track here. I understand what you're saying, Dick, but I, I think regardless of what we do here, it's really not going to have a direct impact on you because your case is going to have to be handled by the Superior Court, by, by court, by survey, by negotiation with them over the line. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm beyond the line. I think we get the line worked out. I, I'm just... 
concerned about the increasing residential density and the impact it's going to have on our land. You know, there's yeah. winners and losers every time somebody makes a decision. And if we lose, we lose. I mean, that's, well, that's part of. Uh, I part understand of what you're saying. What would help us would be would be events along the market. I'll be happy to build one up as soon as we uh, get it in running. To at least, I mean, we don't even know it's them on the board, but we do know they're, they're forward with that. And if that would help prevent that, then maybe, maybe that would. Uh, is, there, is there no fencing between? No. There's no, there's no anything. You've got, there. there's a, no you've got a comment right there that once the line is determined by whatever means y'all determine the line, and they will put fence of some description through there. Well, is that, can y'all make that an additional we proof? No, no. I mean, that's, that's really getting out beyond, again, what we're, what our bounds are. Trust me, I'll put a fence up. Right where my survey is, as it is. With no problem at all. We'll take that. Okay, thank you. We'd like to read through that file, like we can for that. I mean, well, on side for Once we get together on the line, then. Yeah, you, you want that back? Yeah, you, you, want you probably need it. Well, because it's not going to be part of our action, we, we really don't need it for the full finish. Yeah, we probably could. But it would have to be on the variance from the road part, not the administrative field part. Okay, back to where we are. We are discussing the administrative appeal of the interpretation. Any other discussions or questions, or are we ready to vote? Yeah. Just for your information, we did see word that the rail system began in 1897. The road been there a lot of time. I have motion on the floor from Mr. Alvarado, and that motion is to deny the administrative appeal. I have motion on the floor from Mr. Alvarado to deny the administrative appeal. Yes. Deny it and deny staff's interpretation. No, approve affirm. the staff, affirm the staff's okay. interpretation. The motion to approve staff's interpretation. Affirm. Affirm staff interpretation. Okay, do I have a second? I have a second from Ms. Hobby. Now, everybody in favor, please raise a hand. All opposed, raise a hand. Your vote is 3 1. Next case the VAR 2014 03 for J.R. Howell and State Howell Road, Howell, Georgia, Barrett. Yes, um, the last request before you is um, concerning the J.R. Howell State. They're requesting a variance for chapters 4 and 6 of the OVC as they both pertain to um, lot front requirement. Similar to the second case on the agenda, they are requesting a variance to divide the estate and the state, each tract of the estate will have access through a recorded 20-foot ingress, egress, um, the request receives staff's um, favorable recommendation for approval. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any questions, any discussions for Carmela? They, this will be a privately maintained road. Yes. They will have to maintain it minimum width minimum tree overhang to allow for emergency vehicles in and out access. Any other questions, any discussions at this time? Well, I have a question. So, is 
say track number two, that one that's way down there in the middle, sort of super inaccessible, um, gets sold. And now Family Smith is living there. Mm -hmm. And Family Smith, yes, their property is conveyed this um, easement to drive along the driveway. Um, is that correct? Comes with the property. Yes, it comes with the property. Comes with the property. Yes. Perpetual. <clears throat> and what if um, track number three, seventeen acres, could theoretically be divided into five, uh, three five-acre tracks by right? They can request it, but they will be before you. They will have to request the variance because lot frontage. Because of lot frontage. So it only goes to these lots, not any subdivision of these lots. That's correct. But five family member blood ties could divide each of these lots. Yes. Without and subdividing. Do you have a greater? Without subdividing, and as long as the land okay. would support. That's a four. So you're going to do it with a blade, not a grader. Okay. Okay. Like oh, yeah, I, I got a box blade. I got a regular blade. The first three of us out there with no main time to raise. It's in the mess right now, because I'm not writing that, so you can't even do that. <laughs> well, that's again, I'm a little bit worried about, you know, if we Family can, Smith no, gets down there in track two and then is counting on Family Howell to keep the road up for the ambulance to come in. You know, sort of what I would do for my family is well, maybe will, not <laughs> what I do for my friends. You have to think of that. Knowing what the conditions are. Yeah, knowing the conditions, so it's not like they're going to. A big surprise. Now, big surprise. Yeah, right. Sure. Well, Angus was okay. coming at her you know, palm signal from the radio. Uh, uh, he was coming, and that was the first one. That's why he was really by him. That's what he was coming up by him. They come out here. Okay. Any other questions, discussions, or comments at this time concerning this request? Is anyone here in support of this request? I believe the family is here in support. Is there anything any of you would like to add to this? Uh, just the fact that we are out there. We are already doing this, and we're still going to be out there. There's any questions, any discussions? It'll be up to them, between them, to maintain the road to satisfactory conditions. If it reaches the point that they are not satisfactory, I assume the county does have the capability to go in there and tell them that, you know, if you have a problem, we will not come in because the road is not accessible. accessible and that's the only punishment, I guess, so to speak, is if, if they don't feel like they can get in there with the fire trucks or whatever it is they need to go, then they won't go because now they are on the private property, not public roads. That's correct. So this has no liability on the county? So it, I mean, it is imperative on them to maintain good access for their safety and their security. And we, you know, we this was a development for, you know, profit, you know, we would support it, but we, we're our sensitive family. Um, and we, we are concerned, safety was a concern for us, but we did get back there. Well, I have another question, though. If we denied this and said, oh, actually, all those blocks have to touch the road, they can't touch the road because there's railroads in the way. They, they don't have any way to touch the road. that railroad is like totally cuts them off. They're behind the railroad. They'd have to be way on the south side and, and they have to buy property from the shelter. From the they shelter. would have to buy property further down because there is a better crossing further down. Or be over the road. That's possible. Yeah, that's good. It's very intense. I mean they would they would have it's not, <coughs> not if you just try to live. Okay, any other questions or discussions?
Is there anyone here in opposition to this request? Any other questions, discussions before I call the question? Can I get a motion on the request to allow or disallow the use of the road and to grant the lots without public road access as per the
learn. Right. She contacted us right before the meeting and simply said she was not going to be here. I don't know why. Well, but barring other information that may come to light, I would have to say that was probably another excuse. Well, we can follow up with her. We, we can touch base on that. And then we'll reflect it accordingly. Any Thank other you. new business, old business? Oh, for those of you who have not met him, our intern is sitting in the back row observing meetings as he's able to on Tuesday afternoon and he's here on Tuesday afternoon. Does your intern have a name? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Andre Jones, senior, <laughs> senior at the issues. Um, and he's actually looking for going into public administration and maybe working in local government. Hopefully you can sway it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're educated. All right. Any so other? Let's do some research and some different Can we assign him? Welcome to, I, the, I, I to the party. I love so far. Okay. Any other business to conduct? Any other? We stand adjourned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Carmella, I took up 40 minutes. <laughs> you yeah. did. Thank right. you. I had explain, <laughs> explained to her. That's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Thank you. A railroad is not like a road. That's ridiculous. That railroad's been there since 1890. Good lord. Those people that bought that land knew. Those are two separate plots. You know what I mean? That's a little thin. It was. A little tenuous. A little tenuous. Good seeing you, my man.